Hello everyone and welcome again to this new video presented to you by C Telecoms. My name is Ibrahim Ajine. Uh, I'm a network designing engineer. In this video I would like to explain to you the output of the show version command uh, in iOS devices like Cisco routers and uh, switches. So let's get started the show version command or we can just type SHVER which is a shortcut for uh, show version. Uh, so the first line shows us the iOS related information for example here uh, we got 2900 software that's basically an iOS for 2900 uh, series routers here is the name of the iOS that's a 2900 universal K9 iOS K9 represents the that this iOS includes encryption and this is the version of this iOS uh, below couple flying we can just ignore them because they don't have any useful information for us they just give us a link to Cisco support website uh, after this we have uh, the date that this uh, particular iOS was released by Cisco and this is the date and this is the team that compiled this iOS and here we have the room information uh, room basically is like the BIOS the small software piece that's installed on a ship's uh, in a ship set on the device that helps putting the actual operating system of the, of the router so uh, here we can see the version of the room software and uh, below that we have the uptime of the router in the uptime we can see that it's up for nine weeks three days ten hours and eight minutes and in the line uh, right below it we can see that the system is returned to room by power on this basically means that how did the router boot for example uh, by power on means that the router was plugged in normally to electricity and turned on by button uh, and here uh, is the time that the system started the exact time day and year uh, the line below it shows the exact uh, iOS file and where is it located here we can see that it's located on flash tier 0 and uh, this is the file name for the iOS version 15.2 for M4 which is represented in the name of the file as well and here we can see that uh, last reload type normal reload that means that this router basically reloaded or loaded in the first place uh, by a normal power on that's mentioned here and it was not uh, caused by a crash in the iOS or uh, some comment that caused the reload other than the reload comment of course uh, below that we have a statement by Cisco that says this that this device contains cryptographic features uh, it's basically not useful information you can see it in all uh, Cisco devices uh, after these lines we have uh, the exact part number of the uh, Cisco device we are operating in this case it's Cisco 2900 and one, I, uh, one uh, Cisco router and this is the revision of that device uh, this is the amount of memory that the device has uh, basically it's 512 megabytes what you have to combine the two numbers and convert them from kilobit to uh, to megabyte uh, processor board ID this is the serial number of the motherboard of the below that we can see the interfaces that's installed in this device two ADSL controller interfaces two Ethernet interfaces two gigabit Ethernet interfaces two ATM interfaces and one terminal line one virtual private network VPN module that's a module included in the router for to help uh, uh, speeding up the VPN processing uh, during the encryption and decryption of packets and this is a four voice FXO interfaces uh, so here we have the NVRAM NVRAM is basically the storage where the uh, startup uh, configuration file is stored in and and here we can see the size of the compact flash that's installed in the system compact flash is the main storage of the device like uh, it's like a hard disk on a computer it contains the operating system which is the iOS and it's essential in iOS router it won't be able to boot basically without a compact flash below that we have uh, license information 
and here we can see that this is the part number of this device uh, and here is the serial number of the router that's basically the serial number that's required when you are opening a support case with Cisco they, uh, they will ask you for this serial number and below that we have the technology package licensing license information for module 2900 module 2900 is basically the router itself and these are the licenses installed in this router IP base uh, license security k9 license UC k9 license and data k9 license in the last line we can see the configuration register configuration register is basically a small code like this uh, that instructs the router to boot in a specific way like for example if we are about to perform a password recovery on a router and we want to instruct the router to ignore the startup config and uh, just boot without with the default configuration we can change that configuration register and we should be extra careful when we are working with configuration register like because uh, sometimes it gets gets us in trouble if we if we put uh, a wrong number i hope this information has been informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing